And we are go! Hello guys, I'm Aaron from Automation Hub and happy December everyone! I've been waiting for December to come around since probably about halfway through the year. So it's a happy time for me right now. And what are we doing today, you may ask? Well, if you haven't read the broadcast title, we are building an entry to Conan's competition, the Ultimate Van Race. And it's pretty much just build a hell of a quick Vauxhall or Opel Vivaro, pretty much, which somebody well known on the forum, you may see him around, he owns a Vivaro, this is pretty much based around him, so let's get right into this. And also, more good news, the viewer list works, at least that's good news in my point of view, so now I can finally see who's watching the streams. Righty ho then, let's check out the competition rules. So, tech year must not exceed 2014. We need to use Cubby's Vivaro body, which I already have somewhere here. Let me just check. Oh, in fact, I'll need to split the chassis first, so I'll just leave that for now. Uh, tires need to be limited size with hard long life and everything like that. Overall cost must be no more than $8,400. I suspect I may go quite over that on my first attempt, as I normally do if there's a cost limit to anything. No under tray cladding, standard safety, no lips or wings. Reli engine reliability must be si uh, over 65, and overall reliability must be over 62. Oh, and we have to use the Vivaro grill. At least I'm assuming it's the Vivaro grill because it says, because without it the van is a fake, not Vivaro. Alrighty. Let's jump right into this then. We will start with, we'll make it 2014 because I kind of, I'm going to actually build this car to win unlike I did with the Bailey Street Legal League because I built that one out of insanity and this one I'm actually going to try. So 2014 we're going to keep it because that gives us the best chance. Now it's got to be cheap so we could just make it steel. We could make, um, I'll try AHS steel to start with because it's a bit lighter but then if it's too expensive I can always change after. And I don't know if I have the mid-engined Vivaro because I don't know whether that was like an updated version of the version I downloaded, but we'll try it. Maybe mid-transverse. I just got an expert notification. I think I might be dropping frames. I don't know. Just a couple. Right. Double wishbones, front and rear. And then we'll make it I guess all-wheel drive. And then... Uh, aluminium? I'll try aluminium, I don't know whether that would be too expensive. 
just a quick check in the chat. If you're watching me, do say hi in the chat. I like to hear that you're still with us and still alive. Okay, so I don't have the mid-engine version of the Vivoro, so I'm going to have to make it front engine, which I guess isn't really much of a big deal. And here we go, we want the, I guess, passenger version. I mean, I'm not sure if they have different weights. No, they have, it's all, it's all pretty much the same, so we're going to use this uh, passenger version, I just think it looks a little bit better with the windows in the back. And let's see, how can we make this? Oh wow, that's not very pretty. Uh, I don't know, I do want to make this look decent, I mean, I don't know. I don't really like to make very ugly cars unless it's deliberately insane. Uh, no, don't want that flared out. We do want the wheel arches flared out though. In fact, yes actually we do because even though we're only limited to a certain width we can just put loads of offset on it which I think also helps. But I won't flare them out too much because that, that would be kind of... I don't want it to look too incredibly silly. Right, anything else? Let me see. I could have just a massive, massive cabin but nah. It looks more like a bus now. Wow. Now it really looks like a bus. Nah. Let's keep it. Let's keep it short and stubby. Anything else we can do to the back? No. Alright, and then we'll paint it orange because who doesn't love an orange van? And now... I really don't know how to go about designing this car. We could go with for these, possibly. They're a tad small, but nah, I don't really like the shape of that with this body. Maybe just square, square headlights, or almost square, kind of like a Volkswagen Transporter. Although it's supposed to be a Vivaro, but... Maybe I could just completely replicate a Vivaro. I mean, that does look quite nice. I mean, I would, I would use those tail lights. Ah, Duke Accent. Hello there, Mr. Loyal Viewer. Today, if you didn't hear me before, we're building an entry to Conan's Ultimate Van Race Competition, which is pretty much uh, build a Vivaro, basically. Build a damn fast Vivaro. So that is exactly what we'll do. I mean, I don't know how the Vivaro looks off by heart, so I'm just going to make something that I think vaguely looks like it. And I know that they have kind of circular-ish headlights, or kind of oval. I don't know. I guess I could do that and then just fill in this tiny little gap like like so. Not very big but in fact and then I'll also kind of have a mini sort of addition. Right. Oh that's a bit too a bit too big. Right there. In fact, that should do it. <laughs> Just a tiny little one more. Alright, that's good enough. And then to make it look more natural, I think I will add one of those. Oh, that doesn't really show up very well, does it? Ah well, I'll just keep that. And then, as per Conan rules, we need to use this. Vivaro. Vivaro Grill. And I do actually really like this version, I think. Yeah. I think that's my favourite version of the grill. Perfect. And badges, we've got to have the voxel looking badge, so we'll have this one right there. Perfect fit. Alright, so we've got the first portion of the design done, quite quickly actually. Now grills. I need to be careful actually which grills I select, because a lot of these are works in progress and currently crash the game, like this GT86 grill down here. 
I did have it working ex except for the UV mesh, but now it crashes the game, so I need to make sure that I don't select that. Uh, I do know when I switch to the, uh, the next page, it gives me this Lua error, but I can just skip through it. Try again. Right. Need to work out which grills I can actually pick now. I can pick this one. This is actually the grill I've been working on today. It's the grill from the Zenvo, but as you can see, it's still not really fully working yet, so that needs to be fixed before I can release it, so I'm not going to use that. Oops, bloody errors everywhere. Right, I, I, guess, I guess I can use the uh, Ford Focus grill, make it quite... That almost reminds me of a Mercedes, kind of. Maybe like a McLaren Mercedes. <laughs> Not the best looking van, I agree, but I don't know. We'll we'll stick with it. Maybe we should, maybe we could have gave it pop up headlights. It's a bit it's a bit late now, but we could have done. I don't know. I, I'm working out what else I can add to this car. I don't know whether just to keep it plain and simple or to stick fixtures everywhere. Come on, let me click, please. It's not letting me place it. Come on. There you go. See, I could have that maybe. Oh no, it's making uh, it's making little spikes come out. That's not good for the um, other competitors if I happen to run into the back of them. Yeah, that could work. I just need to make it a little bit slimmer. And then move it down. I also need to remember that we're not allowed lips or wings, so I don't want to accidentally put a lip or a wing on. Right, I think we're done now for the front. It's I can't decide whether it's really beautiful or really ugly, but I'm leaning more towards the ugly side here. Um, in fact, we'll also put, I don't know, just pop these maybe up there on the hood or on the bonnet. I don't know why I'm saying it hood, that's the American way. As you may have noticed, I'm not American. Right, door handles, the most complex design part of the car. Oops. <laughs> door handle for midgets I've just placed there. Uh, right, that can just that can just go there. In fact, I need a slidey door. Do we have any handles that can be sliding doors? I guess we could use that. Yeah, that'll actually work. Or will it? I don't know. I'll just keep it like that. And then we can place an indicator right about just in this little gap here. There we go. Alright, now on to the back. We have a lot of space around the back actually to mess around with. Uh, tail lights. Hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I guess we could just use these. You know. In fact, column to uh, column tail lights is what we need. So if I can just move them around like that, put them there, and then just make them longer, then that should be. That's us. Fine and dandy for the taillights. Okay, now we can have some vents. I don't really, I don't really think we need them, but you know, just just for a design. Ooh. There we go, and then we could maybe put the exhaust in the middle. Oh, in fact, we can use badges as well. These uh, Pelix made some custom badges. Which, if you haven't downloaded, I do advise you go and give, uh, check them out because they are quite cool. Oh, in fact, Conan Tech. Why don't we use that? Shall we? Nah. Oh, we definitely need this Quattro badge with the W. Q W A T T R O. Perfect. Yes, look at that. Oh, the badge. Of 
What about the badge? There we have it. I think that is actually us done for the design now. I like the back a lot more than I like the front. Yeah, <laughs> definitely like the back more. Right, and with that I shall look at the chat, of which nothing has happened. Okay. Apparently it says we have five viewers, but I can only see two in the viewer list, one of which is the automation of account, so... There must be people watching without an account. Alright, double check the rules here, so... Um... And, well, so the only rule for the engine is that it needs to be above 65 reliability. I don't know how big the engine bay this van has, but I'm going to try a V8. Good, it can fit at least a 4 litre V8. Alright, let's see. How big can we go? We can go up to 6.2 litres. Nah, I don't want to go that insane. Maybe just a 5 litre. There we go. Right, reliability. So we could go for expensive bottom end parts. Or we could go very cheap. I'm going to start off with cheap just to see what reliability we can get. <clears throat> Maybe a single overhead cam. I don't want to go direct acting because I want it to rev a little bit at least. And plus it's 2014, so... I don't know whether I'm like blatantly missing any of these rules because I don't want to have my entry rejected. Uh, no lips or wings, standard safety. Um, okay, so I can pretty much do anything with the engine as long as the whole car doesn't go over 8,400. So I don't actually think I'm going to go turbo. I was going to, I was planning it previously, but just because naturally aspirated is much cheaper, I'm just going to stick with that. And then injection, I'll just go multi-point fuel injection. Oh wait, we want a performance intake at least. Because we don't need this to be quiet. And then... In fact, it doesn't limit you on what fuel you can use, so I'm actually going to go ultimate unleaded. Just so that we can go a bit crazy with the compression and stuff. I'll try long tubular exhausts. In fact, no. Tubular. I think we can get away with that. Right, first test. Okay, so we've got a good 401 horsepower, but we are, we are also quite down on reliability, so we're going to go into this test mode, and then rev the engine up and see what is making it reliable. So it's pistons and conrods by the looks of it. I hope I got that right. Uh, okay, so pistons we can have forged, conrods, I-beam steel. And see what reliability we get now. Okay, good, perfect. 71.9. So we can actually afford to rev it a little bit more. 62.4. Rev it down to 7.3. Okay, good. 66.3. And we still have so much fuel left so we can bump the compression up by a ton. Look at that. And we still have a lot left. Ignition timing can go to 90. Oh, in fact, that's made everything worse, which I thought it might be, because sometimes if the ignition timing is too high, it just makes things worse. So I guess we'll spend the rest on compression, because we don't need economy. Right, so we're at 454 horsepower. I'm not actually sure what power figures other people are putting out, so I don't know how fast everyone else's vans are going to be. So I'm not really basing this off anything. Go running 12 point...
sounds good for a band. I mean, I don't know whether it's good for anyone else in the coffee shop. Um, it's it's Right, okay. It's on quiet. 